Ooh. It shows a man armed with an assault rifle firing shots inside that clinic. This is on Virginia Street, along with efforts to subdue the suspect. And tonight, our Jocelyn Person spoke with that security guard Watch who this. takes us through what happened. Doors have now reopened at the Hispanics United of Buffalo after a violent confrontation with a gunman who police say was armed with an AR-15. Now, as you saw, this man came in there and the first thing he decided to do was fire the gun to let people know I mean business. He fired the gun at the wall. Bam. And then the security guard would start moving his feet around trying to, oh, what in the world? <laughs> you know what I mean? He didn't have a plan. All he knew is, I got to get my butt up out of here, man. Uh, that's that's what if I don't save myself, then I can't save anyone else. That's how it should. And if you don't save yourself, you can't save anyone else. If you can't do for yourself, then you can't do for anyone else. But security guard Renato Beckford oh. sprang into action. Now, as you saw, that he grabbed the barrel of the daggone gun and he tried to. It looked like he was trying to swing and and pop him like pow, but he wasn't. He was just trying to grab him up top while he had the gun held at the bottom. So he had the gun held like this, and he was trying to grab him at top so he could put him in like a little choke. Oh, mm -hmm. you thought you were going to kill me today? Huh? Huh? That's what you thought? Huh? Give me the daggone gun. Shut up. Shut up and give me this daggone gun. Shut up. You evil. You need Jesus in your life. Man. And when I turned from the corner of my eyes, all I saw was the person and the rifle. That's all I saw. And at that moment, I took a good look at the person and I couldn't believe what was happening. Renato tells me he's been in the security industry for more than 20 years. And when he had a close encounter with this gunman, he was in survival mode. I had him and I had the rifle. I was just saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now on the video that I checked out, I saw him, he kept saying something through his mask. You can see that his mask was moving like crazy, like he was talking to him and he probably was telling him, drop the weapon. Come on, it ain't gotta be like this. What's going on? Come on, Jesus, Jesus, help us, help me, help me, Jesus, help me, Lord. He probably was saying that too, praying and threatening the dude at the same time. But he was fighting for survival at that point. Absolutely, you can clearly see it. This dude was trying not to get his tail sh shot off. And when he first grabbed the barrel, I don't know if you saw it, but when he very first grabbed the barrel, the guy fired another shot. He fired another shot toward, toward the door. And it and it hit the wall and something popped off. Or you can see the 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 what you call it, the debris pop off. Net. And that's when he turned back and he had stopped fighting for a while. And that's when the other security guard was coming down the stairs. Ronaldo says the gunman wouldn't take his finger off the trigger, so everyone had to put up a fight. In this video, you see where they were able to tackle the suspect and take his gun. I would be lying to you if I was to say to you that I was not scared for my life. Absolutely. And the first thing that flashed over my brain was my baby boy who just turned three years old. Ronaldo tells me oh. he doesn't want to label himself a hero. Man, well, I label you a hero, but guess what? If I had to, if I had to do that, and I'm thinking about my kids, oh man, sheesh, I'm I'm in it, I'm in it. Listen, it's it's me, it's me and you, it's me and you. But watch what happens after this, because this is, mm, this right here shows us humanity. Instead, a man just doing his job. That's the business that I'm in, to save and protect. And that's exactly what I did. District Attorney John Flynn says the suspect, 48-year-old Jeremy Griffin from Buffalo, is now facing a number of charges. Two security guards uh, and two civilians who, in my mind, took nothing less than heroic action. Uh, they were, um, they, 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 they did not uh, worry about the safety of themselves. They were concerned about the safety of the people who were around them. Nobody lost their life. Nobody got hurt. And to God be the glory. Rinaldo yeah. says he will consider seeking therapy the and the clinic is looking into increasing security. Jocelyn Person, 7 News. To God be the glory. Now, this is the thing where he said nobody got hurt. Nobody got injured. That was most important because some people, <laughs> some people would take advantage of that moment, that opportunity and say, 
Well, it was self-defense, and they would try to take that gun away and fire at the 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 perpetrator, fire it at the the person who came up in there just to just to be able to kill him because they know that they can get away with it. And this guy had none of that on his mind. Now, the attorney, he was, I don't know what it was the attorney or was, um, police officer, detective or something that they was, that was just now talking. He said, and two security guys and two um, um, civilians brought this guy down and, and got rid of the weapon. I mean, took the weapon away and they wasn't thinking about themselves. They was just thinking about everyone else. That's a bold faced lie because this guy was thinking about his safety. He was thinking about his safety, returning to his three-year-old son. And when he was thinking about returning to his three-year-old son, it was go time, baby. It was time to get, it was time to get busy. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to hurt you, but I am going to take that gun away from you. You're not hurting anybody. You're damn sure not hurting me. That right there, bro. Shout out to Ronaldo, Cause I kept on hearing the lady roll her R's every single time she said his name. And I didn't when I introduced him initially in minute one. But Reynaldo, Reynaldo Beckman, I think it was Beckman. Shout out to you. You are an amazing person. And I appreciate you. I thank you on behalf of everybody who works at the clinic, who everyone who was there as as patrons of the clinic. Just just thank you, bro. Because you're you're a good you're a good dude, man. You you did what a man is supposed to do. A man is supposed to consider himself last and just go for it and try to get try to get the situation um, um, rectified and, and calm down. And that's exactly what you did, man. You got other people involved, too, because you showed your heroism um, first. You showed that you had the heart to jump in there and put your life on the line for that. And other people follow suit. That's amazing. And hopefully people all over see this story. And it's unfortunate that this story was not spread as much as the story of the tragedies where people end up getting shot because so many people want to hear about that. People want to hear about, so man, 15 people was killed, 20 people was killed, 80 people was killed. Like they want to hear that for some strange reason, but they never want to hear about um, a, a murder was prevented. So shout out to you, man. This was this was great to see. And before I get all emotional, before I get all emotional, love y'all.